I'm Vane and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I thought I could style some dresses in my closet that I don't really wear enough. And it's not for any like bad reason, it's usually just because I go to style it and I like change my mind or I don't really have a specific event that the outfit would work for and I just end up never wearing these things but I don't want to like get rid of them for my closet because I do like them so I thought today I could try and style them and take away some of that last minute effort I would have to do if I did decide to wear one of these outfits so the first dress that I'm going to style is this red and black maxi dress with spaghetti straps and it has this beautiful red embroidery and one of the main reasons that I haven't worn this is because it's a bit dressy and I'm afraid that I'll mess it up but also I got this off at thread up and it didn't really fit me how I would like and so I kept it in my closet and I was like well it doesn't fit me maybe I'll give it to my sister but then I tried it on and I'm like you know what it fits me well enough that I think I can get away with it and it and I just love the embroidery it's, it's got like I don't know like wheat or something it's not flowers which makes it like pretty unique but do you see this like beautiful red embroidery anyway I just love this dress so I'm gonna try and style it probably not casual but in reality I'd probably just wear it casual I don't really do anything fancy but I like to dress up when I'm at home, why not? So, let me find some items to dress it up and I'll show it to you when I'm done. Now this wasn't done on purpose, I just went in my closet and picked out random dresses but it turns out that they're all red and black dresses. That I mean it's pretty easy to do with my closet, those are like my favorite colors to wear. The next dress is a vintage dress and I collect vintage dresses, it's like especially from like the 90s to the early 2000s, well like very early, basically late 90s to like the year 2000 or 2001 or is what I usually go for that style. This dress has some sparkly details on it and then it has a split and what makes this hard for me to style is it's just a little bit dressy so I don't really wear it casually and the length is a bit weird. I don't know like I've thought about you know not keeping it but I really feel like I can style it in a way that I'll really like so let me try and do that and I'll show you the finished look The next dress is keeping in line with the red and black theme, but this time it's a totally red dress, another vintage piece, buyer to California, made in the USA, and it's my favorite type of dress, which is a mesh dress with a, a 
another layer over it but this one isn't doesn't have any special like black mesh over red effect it's just pure red and it has these really pretty sparkly flower designs and again this dress while it's pretty dressy I also it's pretty easy to make it casual so I have worn it more than I've worn those other dresses actually I don't think I've worn those other dresses out yet but I have worn this one out I just don't reach for it as much lately and again it's kind of the length that's a bit off for me so I'm gonna try and style this to encourage me to wear this dress more often so let's see how I styled that dress forgot to mention that I got a new haircut it's pretty obvious but my sister always cuts my hair she's been cutting it since 2020 but this time she accidentally cut my bangs too short but it's okay I mean I make it work I've had a I've had short bangs before so I don't hate it it's not really the vibe I was going for but I'll make it work anyway the next dress is something oh by the way these are all thrifted and this one I also thrifted in the thrift store. And I found it in the bathing suit section, randomly. I saw this beautiful lace just hanging off a hanger and I was like, wait a minute, let me go see what that is. And I got it for a really good price. So one of the main reasons I do not wear this is because, is because it's lingerie and very kind of risque. <laughs> That's one of the main reasons. I feel like this would be really good at a goth club, but I don't have any goth clubs around me and I, I want to go to one that's like two hours away and I haven't found the time to do it yet. I was supposed to back on around my birthday in April, but I didn't do that and I haven't yet, but I will one day and I have all these outfits to wear. But as for this, don't really wear it. Actually, I've never worn it, never found the occasion to wear it but I need to keep it because it's so pretty and I will wear it one day for the right occasion either a goth event or a concert one flaw though is that the the cups are a bit dented but it doesn't ruin the dress I mean I guess this is a dress but it's got see-through layers so I have to layer it with like slip skirts let's see how I style this beautiful piece of lingerie Okay, another red and black dress. This is a very unique dress. It has a very silky feeling. I don't know what the actual material is. Let me find out. Okay, no wonder it feels silky. It's 96% silk. So that's why. But it's a very unique dress. It has this interesting pattern on it. And then it has like a lace collar and lace at the bottom and I have worn this out a few times it's just kind of a weird outfit because it's kind of in between like I don't want to wear it when it's hot outside I don't know just 
it doesn't feel nice when it's hot outside, but then when it's cooler outside, it also doesn't feel right. It also apparently had a belt that used to go with it. I just noticed it had these little strings, but I got this off thread up, so it didn't come with that. Anyway, uh, it's a very unique piece, and I do like it, and I need to wear it more often. So let's see if I can make it work, and if I like how the outfit turns out. So let's see it. Like the last dress is a little anticlimactic. Again, it's something I haven't worn that many times, but I have worn it. I got it at a thrift store. It's this beautiful slip dress. So of course this is supposed to be worn at for like nighttime. But when I've worn it, I just wore it out. I cannot tell from when this is from. Vermont Country Store. Don't know what that is. It's just a simple dress. It has this little uh, lace detail. I have worn it in videos though. I just really, look, I was gonna wear it recently. I put it on and I'm like, I don't feel like wearing this, mostly because it was hot. I'll try and change up from what I've done before with this dress. So let's see how it turns out. Okay, that's it for this video. I'm sorry it was a bit simple, but like I said, it's been really hot and I haven't really had the motivation to make outfit videos when my room doesn't have air conditioning and I have to turn off my ceiling fan, otherwise it ruins my audio. So I like to get this done quickly. I apologize for that, but once it gets cooler outside, I hopefully will be making more intricate videos and I won't have a limit of what clothes I can wear. Anyway, please like and subscribe leave a comment if you want, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!